Hi everyone, it's Helene, your adult services librarian here at Shelby County, and today I want to bring to you another book talk talking about one of my personal favorite genres, historical fiction. One of the reasons why I like historical fiction is why a lot of people like fantasy, in that it transports me to another world and kind of gives me an escape. So these three titles I want to talk about today are ones that I read and really enjoyed, and you can find on the Libby app. So the first book I want to talk about is The Gown by Jennifer Robson. I really like Jennifer Robson's work. She does a really good job of bringing historical details to life. This particular book talks about the construction of Queen Elizabeth II's wedding gown in the 1940s, and it follows the lives of two women who are impacted by World War II and the granddaughter of one of the women trying to figure out how her granddaughter was involved in the making of this historical dress. I wouldn't say it's a comforting read, but it's still pretty interesting learning about the different details and work that went into making this dress, and also the characters are very memorable. So I recommend that if you're interested. The next book I want to talk about, it's kind of similar to some of the books I talked about last week in the fantasy book talk, it's Sorcerer to the Crown by Zen Cho. This book takes place in early 19th century England, and it's very similar to historical England, except magic exists in this world. And it follows the day-to-day -day adventures of the Sorcerer to the Crown, his name is Zacharias, and during this time he's trying to find an apprentice and finds one unexpectedly in a young woman named Prunella. I really liked this book because it's evocative of the time, and it's also kind of written like a Jane Austen novel, so it also kind of sounds like books from that time period. So if you're interested, I recommend that. And finally, my last recommendation is Homegoing by Yaji Asi. I read this back in 2016, and it is one of my favorite books that I read that year. It follows two different sisters who both live in Africa at the time in the 1700s, and... One of them is sold into the Atlantic slave trade, and one of them stays in Africa. And it follows them and their descendants through the years until the modern day. And one of the reasons I really enjoyed this book is that it's not very long, but in the short amount of time, Jossie does a really good job of capturing the different characters in the time they're living. It's very compelling, and I really, really recommend it. So that's all for me for this book talk. If you're interested in all these books, you can find them on the Libby app by Overdrive. You can download that app from any app store, and you can check out up to 10 different ebooks or audiobooks a month, and when you're done, they are returned automatically. No fines. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you all next time.